Shut up, bitch. You had that nigga killed. All right, y'all. What's up? You see the fucking title of the video, man. I been wanting to make a video about this. I just, you know, kind of wanted to wait a little bit, but I've been waiting so motherfucking long. I'm like, bro, I can't wait no damn longer. Uh, y'all see the title? They had Kevin Samuels killed, bro. That's 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 my that's my take on it. That's really my take on it. And all I can say is, uh, y'all have mercy on they soul, bro. Because um, the hate is real, bro. The hate is real. You mean to tell me you didn't know his fucking address, but you're over there all the time? You didn't, you know what I'm saying? Like, like little shit like that, bro. And then the fact how he died. You mean to tell me that, that uh, he was perfectly fine the day before? No type of symptoms for, for anything. You know what I really believe? What I really believe? Because I read a book called The Iceman. Y'all can check it out for yourself. The story about uh, the assassin Richard uh, Kolonsky, I believe his name was. You can check that book out yourself. I read it when I was in the pen. And the way he killed people in there, bro, he had some methods, man. I'm going to show y'all one of the methods that, that I believe is the way that they kill Kev, bro. This is how uh, this is how I think they kill Kev, bro. Cells shut down, but not all cells in the body die at once. This causes asymmetric muscle contractions, making spasms progress to tremors. The victim falls into a coma and breathing slows down to lethal levels. The cause of death is either asphyxiation or cardiac arrest due to shutdown of muscle tissue. And they said that Kev was that he could not breathe, bro. They said he could not breathe. She said he couldn't breathe. How can he not breathe? He doesn't have COVID. And even people with COVID can still breathe. They're not finna go cardiac arrest like that, bro, in like two seconds. He didn't have a heart attack. It wasn't a heart attack, but it looks like a heart attack. It looks like, it looks like an accident. When you, when you, when you hit somebody with the cyanide, and in the book I'm telling you about, uh, The Iceman, you can go check it out. You can research it for yourself. He literally killed some people with cyanide, bruh. And you can do it in more than one way. You can literally put it in their drink, put it in their food, or you can just put it in a water base and literally just walk up on somebody and spray them in the face with water and a little bit of cyanide and they will die within minutes, bro. Cyanide is really that, that deadly. You don't even need that much. Like literally you only need like a pill the size of like a penny, bro. And that shit will kill a 180 pound human easily. Fucking bullshit. Anyway, back to the matter at hand. As you see right here, it says Assistant Professor of Criminal Justice, uh, Chi Chung Yu is a study of a biomaker for cyanide poisoning, which may extend into detection windows below, death investigations by weeks, yada yada. Okay, and it says unless cyanide is found. I'm zooming in for y'all so y'all can really see what the fuck I'm talking about, bro. I know my shit, homie. I don't just be talking, bro. I got wisdom from experience and wisdom from studying and shit like that, too. So, I'm just a little rough around the edges. But anyway, it says, unless cyanide is found at the time of death, on the mouth or nose, elevated cyanide concentration can only be found for up to two days, man. Under current toxicological testing, according to you. So, if you don't find it in two days, you're not going to find it. Cyanide poisoning is how I believe they killed Kevin Samuels. Another thing that leads me to believe that, I read this other report too. Hold on. Kevin Samuels autopsy, bro. And look. They literally are letting you know they're not, they're not, they're taking, they're purposely taking forever with his toxicology report. I'm going I'm to scroll down a little bit because there's a sp specific part where I want y'all to read how long it's taking for his toxicology report.
The medical examiner doesn't have results yet for Kevin Samuels. Um, hmm, I wonder why. What's taking it so long? It says, eventually the medical examiner office acknowledged that they received my request, but revealed that Kevin Samuels' autopsy results, including cause and manner of death, have not been finalized. The medical examiner offices received your request for medical examiner case. Uh, 2021, I don't know what that is. 01051 Kevin Samuels. Unfortunately, at this time, the report has not been finalized. Your request entered into the system. Once the report is finalized, a copy will be uploaded to the portal. This response since and is standard, seeing as though toxicology reports often take four to six weeks or more to reveal their results so in that first week you already lost that two-day timetable to even look for cyanide that is fucking broken bro that's broken in criminal justice bro they should not wait three four to six weeks to fucking do a toxicology report especially when it's somebody famous bro who a lot of black and other women and men and even some little blue pill cuck beta pill beta beta male fucking blue pill cucked ass fucking men even hated on him too you don't wait that long for that man you can't wait that long for that especially when you're talking about something like poison and something like cyanide poison specifically being put in a human body bro all right you guys check out this iconic scene from the first Matrix movie where Neo is walking with Morpheus and they're talking about the Matrix and everything like that and then just for a brief moment and this is really how life works and this is really how you know you can really use this for like everyday life how men are and how we get distracted easily by women this is like a life lesson right here when he sees this uh, woman in the red dress where is she at there she goes right there he get real distracted from baby in the red. He like, oh, she look good. Morpheus stops to tell her, what were you looking at? The woman in the red dress? Look again. And then right before he can look again, it's a dude with a gun in his face getting ready to air his ass. She says, uh, four to six weeks to, result to, to, to reveal their test, especially in a high profile case where the world seems to be watching. Those test results may drag on for a long time. Bro, by the time you get those test results, they're going to be like, well, there's nothing, there's nothing, uh, there's nothing suspicious here. Yeah, fucking two months later, when you finally fucking give the goddamn test results, of course there ain't going to be shit there. Of course there ain't, bro. One great example of cyanide poisoning in media is the death of Joffrey Lannister in Game of Thrones. Joffrey is poisoned with a substance called the Strangler, which has very similar effects to someone poisoned with cyanide. He initially has labored breathing, muscle spasms, and disorientation, which rapidly progresses. He eventually dies from either cardiac arrest or asphyxiation. How is it that a small pill can have cardiac arrest and that fixation? That literally, that literally is like, bro, less than an hour. That, that happens it's that fast it's like probably like 15 minutes or so like literally it's so quick bro cyanide poisoning is probably the fastest way you can kill somebody and i'm not trying to tell y'all to go kill people <laughs> like this but what i'm saying is that something really looked fishy to me man about that shit such a lethal effect on the body to understand we have to look at a unit of measurement in chemistry called the mole not a mole but mole one mole of a substance is the measurement of the number of units of that substance, whether it be an atom or a molecule. Numerically, one mole is equal to 6.02 times 10 to the power 23 units, or 602 sextillion units of a substance. For example, if you had one mole of Chevy Corvettes, you would have 602 sextillion Chevy Corvettes. And one sextillion is a huge number. For comparison, here's one trillion, and here's one sextillion. Now, on a chemistry front, this is one mole of pure iron, which means in this pile of iron shavings, there are 602 sextillion iron atoms. The lethal dose of cyanide for a 175 pound male is 240 milligrams. 240 milligrams of cyanide converts to 0.009 moles, or 5.4 sextillion molecules of cyanide. While it's not one mole of cyanide, it's still an enormous amount of cyanide molecules compared to the number of cells in your body. 
The human body is estimated to be composed of 30 trillion cells. 30 trillion sounds like a lot until you realize 30 trillion goes into 5.46 trillion 180 million times. Getting down to brass tacks, when you take a lethal dose of cyanide, this means there's about 180 million cyanide molecules for every one cell in your body. Factor in your blood carrying and distributing those 5.46 trillion cyanide molecules throughout your body, and it's very easy to realize how the Trillion uh, molecules that he's talking about is basically is basically uh, latching on to all your cells in your body, shutting everything down. Muscle spasms and trouble breathing. Muscle spasms and trouble breathing. Small pill can be so lethal. This is why dose is so. Meaning you're paralyzed while you can't breathe. You're like, <laughs> and you can't fucking and you can't move either. That sounds like how Kev died to me. He couldn't move. He couldn't call nobody himself. So, so the bitch has to play like she's the hero and shit, trying to save him. But really, for all we know, you was on in on it the whole thing. Your damn self. And I truly believe y'all hated that man that much that you plant and had him killed, man. It's not hard, man. Women read about these type of books that I'm telling you about way more than men do on average, too. Unless they're a man like me who been, you know, through 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 the fucking uh through the grinder, <laughs> so to speak, through the blender, <laughs> through the fucking through the mud and shit. Unless it's a guy like me that's been through the mud and has had time to read these books like I'm telling you about. A lot of women, bro, a lot of men do not read shit like that unless they're unless they unless they sitting on their head. <laughs> unless they had it's unless they had to sit down for some some months in the pen or somewhere. You know what I'm saying? So this is what I believe. I believe that they put cyanide in his drink, some type of powder substance, while he wasn't looking or something. Somebody close to him, somebody who was who had access to him in his house and everything and his <laughs> whatever, put a little cyanide in his drink, let him drink it. Maybe 10, 20 minutes after he drank the stuff, he starts getting he starts getting weak. He starts having muscle contractions. He can't breathe. Now, here comes the fake hero. Oh my God, Kevin! Ah! It's Kevin fucking Samuels, get over here! I don't know the address though. You don't know the fucking address, but you're calling 911. Bro, that shit sounds so fucking fishy to me. That shit sounds so fucking fishy to me, bro. It really does. Like, it really fucking does. You know? And. I'm going to let y'all decide in the comments, man. But um, let me play the rest of this video. Important. Science YouTuber Cody Reader made a video several years ago where he ingested a non-lethal dose of cyanide. Again, dose matters. He dissolved 15 milligrams of sodium cyanide in water and took a small drink. He estimated the dose was less than 5 milligrams. However, even at a low dose, he noted he felt vague muscle spasms and elevated breathing. I'm starting to feel a little bit of the effects of the cyanide. You see, I got a little bit of a tremor here. Um, my breathing is a, just slightly more rapid. You see, it says cyanide inhibits your ability to use oxygen. A little pill of cyanide, like I said, is like the size of a penny will kill you in within a few minutes. I call foul. I don't know what y'all think. But other than that, if I didn't know that I drank cyanide, I probably wouldn't even know I was poisoned. So what if you take a moderate dose of cyanide where death is not immediate? Is there still hopes for survival? Yes. The antidote for cyanide is amyl nitrite, which essentially turns hemoglobin in red blood cells into cyanide magnets. Amyl nitrite is injected into the bloodstream and oxidizes hemoglobin into met hemoglobin, changing the charge of the iron atom from positive 2 to positive 3, which strongly attracts cyanide ions. This removes cyanide from the Cox enzyme, freeing up the electron transport chain, allowing ATP to be produced. Of course, you need red blood cells to carry oxygen as well, and met hemoglobin cannot carry oxygen. So, the concentration of amyl nitrite being injected cannot convert more than 30% of red blood cell hemoglobin. In summary, cyanide can be ingested or inhaled. Once in the body, it binds to the Cox enzyme, preventing the electron transport chain from making ATP. This causes the nervous and muscular system to shut down, resulting in asphyxiation and or cardiac arrest. There you 
The cure for cyanide poisoning is amyl nitrite, which converts the hemoglobin in red blood cells into competitive substrates, freeing up the electron transport chain. There you go. I call file. You heard what she said, ill regular, bro. Cyanide will do that to you because it's gonna cause cardiac arrest. It's gonna cause muzzle spasms. It's gonna cause your cells to not produce ATP, which is the electric, which is the electric function that they need to carry oxygen. So if your cells aren't carrying oxygen to the places that they need to carry oxygen to, you're going to basically go into like what's like a cardiac cardiac arrest which is exactly what happened to Kev. Irregular breathing, having trouble breathing, cardiac arrest, shutdown of the muscles. Bro, <laughs> I call foul, man. I call fucking foul. I call fucking foul. I call motherfucking foul. I'm gonna let y'all decide in the comments though. Y'all already know I'm on to the next one, man. This world is getting more fucked up by the minute, more evil by the minute. Y'all stay prayed up out there. Uh, the most high is coming back to deliver his 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 children bro and i'll see y'all later peace